Hello friends, Osiris here and the 7 star terror raid event for Dragonite is going live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet later this week. We're going to cover all of the details of this event as well as some of the best builds that you can start putting together in your game so you can beat this when it goes live. <laughs> So on the back of the Pokemon World Championships in Hawaii coming to a close over this past weekend and we're in the last remaining days of the Chest Foam Gimme Ghoul event as well as those Mass Outbreak events it does dawn the horizon of a brand new 7 star Terror Raid event coming later this week and it will be for 7 star Terror Raid Dragonite. This event is going to be the fourth and final one of the summer series or the four seasons what they've called it in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and we're going to see the mightiest Mark Dragonite make its appearance appearance this coming weekend and for a prolonged period over nearly two weeks. Dragonite with the Mightiest Mark will be appearing for the first time in seven star Terror Raid battles. The Dragonite appearing during this event has the normal Terror type. During the event as well, look for mass outbreaks of Lavatot and Bagon throughout Paldea, mass outbreaks for Gumi and for the first time ever Hisui and Sligu throughout Kitakami that's very exciting and then mass outbreak events for Beldum throughout the Blueberry Academy. Hisui and Sligu cannot normally be encountered during regular gameplay and shiny Pokemon are more likely to appear in these special mass outbreak events. We're going to appear in, in these special mass outbreak events are more likely to have the charismatic mark so not only are they going to have increased shiny chances they're going to have increased chances of having a charismatic mark alongside them so a really nice event especially for that exclusive hisui and sligu that like we've already mentioned cannot be caught otherwise in game this event for the seven star terror raid event for dragonite as well as the mass outbreaks will be going live on thursday the 22nd of august and running right through until Sunday the 1st of September. So we've got a very long period of time. There's going to be no breaks within that period where it will be over a weekend. And then stopping it will run from the 22nd of August until the 1st of September. So as usual, we'll kick off with an overview of what we can maybe expect from the 7 Star Terror Raid event from Dragonite. The Dragonite is a dragon and flying type at its base typing. So maybe expect those sort of attacks coming out from the Dragonite in this raid. Of course it will be a normal terror type it will be level 100 and it could have a hidden ability multi-scale but like the dondoza raid that we had recently it didn't have a hidden ability it had unaware regular ability i think the dragonite might play into this so multi-scale might not be the option we might see the dragonite have something like inner focus which does change some of the dynamics of how this raid interacts if it has got inner focus then intimidate partnering pokemon aren't going to affect it and of course it can't flinch either but that's not something that we have to really pay too much attention on in the raid it's more that focus on that intimidate will not be an aspect going into this dragonite raid now if you look at dragonite's overall base stats it does have a higher attacking stat it would lead you to think that it's probably going to be more of a physical attacking based pokemon although it's no slouch when it comes to its special attacking stat either with a hundred base special attack so in my mind, I think it will primarily be a physical attacking Pokemon, although I do expect it to be a mixed attacker having some special attacking moves as well. Of course, being a normal Terra type as well, it only has one weakness and that will be to fighting types. But if we do see some sort of flying coverage from the Dragonite, it's going to make it very difficult to bring those fighting type attackers because they're going to be susceptible to those big powerful flying type attacks that are boosted by that Dragonite's base typing. So one of the things that I think we got a little bit of reference for as well going into this from expected attacks is the fact that we've already had a six star terror raid event for Dragonite in the games. You can have a look at some of the details here. It does carry moves like Dragon Rush, Extreme Speed, Dragon Dance to boost its attack and its speed. It does have Aqua Tail and its additional move here in the six star terror raids is going to be Light Screen. So although I don't think it's going to be exactly like this, I do think there's some reference points that we can take from this set from the six star terror raid Dragonite that might be implemented into the one that we do see when it goes goes live later this week but when we're looking at expected attacks i do think we'll see extreme speed it is going to be a higher priority bracket move so it's going to be hitting before everything else you can take advantage of that if you've got things like psychic terrain on the field that will block that extreme speed if you've got anything like armor till the ability on ferrigarath that will also block that extreme speed or any other priority attacks that could come out from the Dragonite. Hurricane is going to be something that I maybe do expect to see from the Dragonite, especially if it is a mixed attacker. This could make it very difficult for certain Pokemon to be brought into this raid. 
Dragon Knight also gets the additional setup option of Rain Dance to make Hurricane 100% accurate move. If it goes down a physical route though, I think its only option really is Area Lace. Now it's not the strongest of flying type attack, so I don't think that would be the worst thing in the world for coverage. Hurricane could be quite threatening because of not only the high base power that that attack has, but it has a secondary effect that it can confuse the target when it is hit. Earthquake is a coverage move. I think it makes sense here because Steel types are going to be quite good against the flying type attacks, the dragon base, and the normal type attacks. So coverage against Steel types in particular, I could see the Dragonite having that. The physical type attack as well, it plays off the fact that Dragonite can boost its attack through Dragon Dance. Um, so I really do think if there are certain coverage moves that we do see, the beauty about Dragonite is it gets so much coverage. It gets electric, it gets fire, it gets water. So there's a lot of things that Dragonite can do, but Earthquake's definitely one of those that makes sense to me, at least in this raid. So something to keep in mind, I think, if you are building your own teams. Dragon Rush, we've seen in the six star terror raid that it does get that. I would say probably more likely to get that physical dragon type attack over everything else, but don't discount Outrage or powerful attack but it does have to lock itself into that for a few turns that could be of our benefit of course if it does have that in a raid hyper beam is a normal type attack but a special normal type attack so if it does play off that kind of mixed attacker hyper beam feels like something that would make sense it kind of plays into that generation one lance with these dragonite with those hyper beams that makes sense to me so i could possibly see that as well body slam is an alternative move that we could see maybe something like facade as well that they could play off with a normal type physical attack if it goes outside of that extreme speed. And then Aqua Tail, it does have that in the six star terror raid. Waterfall is another alternative. If we do see the rain dance, so it gets that 100% accurate on the hurricane, it makes sense to have a water type attack as well. Then you look at the setup options. Dragonite doesn't really have too many setup options, so it's pretty thin on the ground here, but Dragon Dance is gonna be its main one. Six star terror raid, Dragonite has it. I would imagine this one will. Boosting that attack and its speed by one stage every time it uses it, making it pretty threatening in the raid when he does get those set up, especially if it has got that inner focus ability because it is going to completely ignore Intimidate, giving it free reign to set those attack boosts up. Here's is something that we might see, may not see. Does have access to it. I thought we warranted putting it on here because it can really slow your momentum down if you are getting set up in the battle it can go for that haze it would wipe out its stat boosts as well so maybe the one thing that makes me not think that it might have the haze but i thought it worth putting on here rain dance we've already talked about for the benefits of hurricane and water type attack and move as well otherwise i think something like light screen makes a lot more sense because we not only see it on that six star terror raid dragonite but it gives it a little bit of more protection against special type attacks that are going to come out onto the field against it but all in all I think that is what we're likely to see in array of these attacks we were pretty spot on with the dondozo prediction so i think something like this is probably what we will see i just say it will be a lot easier a raid if we don't see something like hurricane on the dragonite and opens the door for a lot of other pokemon that we can maybe use in this raid very effectively first pokemon that we are going to cover in today's video is going to be corviknight i think corviknight because of its flying and its steel typing has very good typing against pretty much everything that the dragonite's going to throw out at you even if it's got that coverage in earthquake you're going to have the immunity through the flying type attack dragonite unlikely to have an electric type move as well uh, it's going to resist the dragon type attacks. It's going to re resist any flying. And of course, more importantly, the terror typing normal. We're going to resist that as well. Terror typing we went for is fighting. Shell Bell is the held item. That's going to give us a line of recovery throughout the raid. Level 100. And of course, just make sure that you do hyper train your Corviknight or any of your Pokemon that you're putting together. So all of your IVs are set to 31. The moveset for the Corviknight is going to be Taunt, Screech, Iron Defense and Body Press. And the ability here is going to be its hidden ability, Mirror Armor, with an EV spread of 252 EVs in HP and defense, with the remaining EVs just put into special defense and a impish nature on this Corviknight. So basically, if you want to get these EVs with vitamins, you're going to use 25 HP ups, 25 irons, and then you would use the remaining two HP feathers. You're going to use two resist feathers and the remaining EVs are going to be those four clever feathers, which are going to go into that special defense stat. So if you want the EVs exactly like we've got them here, 
They are the vitamins and the feathers that you need. Of course, you can go for 26 HP ups, 26 iron, and then one zinc if you would prefer to. But the first reference is just a little bit more efficient for saving resources, of course. So there's the Corviknight. Dawn is there to stop the Dragon Dances from the Dragonite so it doesn't get too overpowered. Screech is going to be there, of course, to lower that defense on the Dragonite. If the shield isn't up, you're going to be able to launch Screech off, reduce that defense by two stages. Iron defense is going to be the important thing here because that's going to boost our defense by two stages. We want to use three of those and then body press is going to be our main attacking option. Now body press, really interesting move here because unlike normal attacking moves, uh, body press actually hits off your defense stats. So really playing into the fact that iron defense is boosting your defense. Body press gets stronger, the stronger your defense gets. So essentially you're hitting very hard when you've got plus six defense stat. And then you kind of combine that with the Screech as well. And you've got a very good option here with the Corviknight where it's not going to take too much damage from the big attacks that can come out from the Dragonite. And you're also going to have a very good way to set up against it, weaken it, shut it down with that taunt and then do some nice big damage, especially after you do Trasalize. Now there is the question where you say, okay, well, if the Dragonite does have Hurricane, you're going to be susceptible to getting hit by that super effectively when you do Trasalize. Now that is true, and this is one of the reasons why I say it might be worth waiting to see what the Dragonite raid does and looks like when it goes live, rather than building anything in game. But if it doesn't have Hurricane, I think the Corviknight is going to be a very good option going into this raid later this week. Next up is going to be Bronzong. It is going to be a Steel and Psychic type. Again, it has all of the attributes that Corviknight has, just in some different ways, where it is going to resist all of those big physical attacks that are going to come out from the Dragonite. It's going to resist the Dragon, going to resist the Flying, going to resist the Normal. You've got Earthquake, then you've got Levitate, so you don't really need to worry about that. The Water type attacks are going to be a different story. Of course, you're going to take neutral damage from those, but we do have ways to get around those threats. We're going to have, again, the Fighting Terror type on the Bronzong. Shell Bell going to be the held item for the same reasons for recovery. Level 100 and, of course, Hyper Trained with the moveset of Light Screen, Reflect, Iron Defense, and Body Press. Ability we've already mentioned is Levitate and then the EV spread is going to be exactly the same as this Corviknight. 252 in HP and defense and the remaining in special defense. The nature here is going to be bold um, and just go back to the reference that we did for the vitamin numbers in the Corviknight if you need the same ones for this Bronzong. The idea with the Bronzong are very similar to the Corviknight. The only thing different is that you don't get Screech or Taunt with Bronzong. So we went for screen protection here. It's going to be something that's going to give you five turns of reduced damage against whatever the Dragonite is going to throw out against you. Then primarily what you're going to try and do is get those iron defenses set up. So three of those to plus six defense and then just start launching off your body presses. You've got the screens to slow down the damage from the Dragonite. Um, and then you're going to have increased damage yourself from the body press. So a decent option, I think, with the Bronzong and something that could do well. Again, if it does have Hurricane, uh, the Dragonite is going to cause you a few issues. So you might need to look at other options. But otherwise, I do think Bronzong a very good option uh, against the Dragonite. And you could even maybe go for a Stellar Terror type on the Bronzong or the Corviknight if you do feel like the Hurricane is too much of an issue still get the boost to that body slam in the raid next up is carbing the rock and fairy type attacking pokemon going to resist the normal type attacks the flying type attacks it is going to have a resistance to dragon type attacks as well uh, the only thing that would have to watch out for is going to be those earthquakes potentially if it does have those going to have the fighting terror type again could go stellar terror type if you prefer uh, to keep that base typing Shell Bell is going to be the held item, level 100 of course, and the moveset is going to be exactly the same as the Bronzong, just slightly different because you do have that Dragon immunity, you lose the immunity to ground type attacks, but I think what you get off in the trade-off is a little bit maybe better with the carbing. Uh, reflect, Light Screen, Iron Defense, Body Press, same exact kind of strategy as the Bronzong. Um, in the same EV spread and nature as well. The only other thing that you could say here on the carbink is that you do have clear body, so you are going to be immune to any sort of stat drops on your side of the field. Carbink very similar in a lot of ways to the Bronzong, but another different option. And if carbink is something that you want to take in, especially with the screens, I think it's going to be one that you could probably take online and do with others as well as supporting team members. Next suggestion is going to be another body press user. It is going to be Magnazone, electric and steel type Pokemon. It is going to have that resistance to dragon type attacks, to normal and to flying. 
will have a big weakness to ground type attacks though so if we do see earthquake as a coverage move on the dragonite then that's something that probably discounts magnazone straight away if it doesn't though i think magnazone going to be a very good option again fighting terror type here uh, we've got the shell bell for the held item level 100 and hyper trained of course the move set going to be light screen iron defense screech and body press the ability is going to be analytic, so the hidden ability on the Magnazon. And again, same exact EV spread as all of the rest covered so far with that 252 HP and defense EVs with the remainder in special defense and a bold nature. So a little bit different moveset wise, but a lot of the similar sort of things. We've got light screen is going to be protection if it is a mixed attack and Dragonite against things like those water type attacks, hyper beam, things like hurricane going to be able to take those a lot better with the light screen in effect gives you protection for five turns iron defense we've already covered it that combination with the body press is going to be the main way to damage the dragonite especially against its normal terror typing and then the nice advantage that the magnazone has over the carbing and the bronzong is the fact that it does have screech as well so you can lower the defense on the dragonite as long as that shield isn't up screech will hit and it will lower the defense by two stages so expediting the damage that you can do with the magnazone making it maybe a little bit of a quicker attacker especially with that analytic ability that it does have access to so once you do terrestrialize you're going to be able to do a lot of damage with this pokemon now if the dragonite doesn't have a flying type coverage move i think an Ilep is going to be a very very strong option here and the reason why i mention an Ilep is because a lot of you already have an Ilep in your game it's going to save you a bunch of time a bunch of resources not having to train one up course fighting terror type is going to be the terror type of choice on this annihilate we're going to have the held item of the expert belt level 100 and hyper trained of course but with that ghost typing you get complete immunity to those normal type attacks that are going to be the main way for dragonite to throw out damage in this raid move set is going to be taunt screech bulk up and drain punch taunt we've covered with the colvinite going to stop the dragonite getting too carried away with those dragon dances Screech, we've already covered. It is going to lower the defense on the Dragonite two stages every time you can use it. Bulk up going to be a great option for the Annihilate, boosting your defense and attack by one stage every time you use it. And then Drain Punch going to be our recovery move. It's going to hit for super effective damage and also help us recover with the Expert Belt item there, boosting its overall power. Once you've got a few bulk ups under your belt, you're going to be able to take attacks from the Dragonite very easily. You're going to be able to do a lot of damage, especially after you do Terrestrialize. Would you guess it though? The EV spread is pretty much exactly the same as what we've covered so far. 252 in HP and in defense with the remaining in attack this time with an adamant nature. So defiant ability on the Annihilate uh, just in case that does proc if there's any secondary effect. Uh, attacks coming up from the Dragonite, that'd be a nice bonus. But otherwise, I think as long as there isn't, I mean, as long as there isn't Hurricane, I think the Annihilate is going to be a very good option because I think it can manage the Aerial Ace attack. I think the hurricane is going to be a lot more difficult to deal with because it's a special attack and move and it's going to be hitting 100% accurate if rain dances as well. But there's this good chance that it's not going to have that as well. So Annihilate might be one of those to look out for and be a very good option going into this raid. And another Pokemon that you might already have built in your games is going to be good old Iron Hands. It is going to be a fighting and electric type Pokemon. So with that part electric typing, it's going to have neutral damage from flying type attacks. It's going to take neutral damage from normal and dragon and it's not really going to have any resistances that are really important in this battle against the dragonite but it does have sky high defense stats so going to be a very good pokemon nonetheless with a way to hit the dragonite for super effective damage with those fighting type attacks fighting terror type expert belt is going to be the held item level 100 and hyper trained we've said it's going to be iron defense sword stance focus energy and drain punch so a bit of a slow iron defense from your standard kind of belly drum set you're going to try and get an iron defense up as early on as possible take those attacks a lot better from the dragonite focus energy is going to boost the chances of you hitting a critical hit meaning that if the dragonite does set the shield up those critical hits are going to expedite damage a lot better sword stance gives you a way to boost your attack two stages every time you use it and then drain punch self-explanatory going to be a way to get recovery and also do good damage to the dragonite again ev spread is no different throughout it is going to be 252 evs in hp and in defense with the rest in that attack and an adamant nature but these are the pokemon that i think could be very good against the dragonite depending on what we see the moveset be like I've said, I've outlined what the big threats are for each one. And if the Dragonite doesn't have those specific attacks, these could be very good options. I do think the Annihilate could still be a very good option. 
Iron Hands could be a good option, but then it's just as likely something like the Corviknight or the Magnazone could be a very good choice going into this raid later this week. But that's what I think, but let me know what you think and what you've been putting together in your games or what you've got in mind that might work well against the Dragonite. Of course, we've got so many good fighting type attackers in the format. You've got Coriodon as well. It could be a very good option. You've got Lucario that can hit for the special end of the spectrum. You've got Zamazenta as well that you can port in from Pokemon Home that could be very good as well. There are a lot of good options going into this raid. These are just a few that I thought are probably the ones that I would look at. Galarian Zapdos is another one as well. It's got a very good way to lower that defense stat as well as chase down your Trastalization just got to worry about the way that the Dragonite is going to be able to throw out some big attacks and you're going to have to be in a position where you are able to take them so we'll see what happens when the raid goes live later this week but like I said let me know down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on what you think will work this weekend as well so as soon as the raid goes live of course we'll do a testing session we'll get the best solo build out as soon as possible so if you don't want to miss that when it does drop then do hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss the video when it goes live because it'll be probably about two hours after the raid goes live. We'll get that best solo build out. So if you are wanting to farm this raid over the weekend when it's running or over up until the 1st of September for Herb Mystica or whatever, then you're going to have the best method possible. But thank you so much for tuning in, friends. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Have a great rest of your day and I will catch you all in another one very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.